Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. At Dimdex 2024, General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, unveils the LAV 700 Desert Viper Armored Personnel Carrier, APC, a significant advancement from the LAV 6.0, boasting a plethora of updates to elevate its operational prowess. This evolution features a larger hull, advanced protection systems, augmented payload capacity, and a robust 711 horsepower engine, a substantial upgrade from its predecessor's 450 horsepower engine. Initially showcased at the IDEX 2017 exhibition in a command post variant, the LAV 700 has since undergone rigorous evaluations, including firing tests by the U.S. Army, notably featuring a LAV 708 x 8 armored vehicle armed with a turret-mounted 50mm XM913 Bushmaster automatic cannon during the Project Convergence 21 exercise, as reported by Army Recognition on November 12, 2021. Designed with modern digital command and control architecture, the LAV 700 integrates systems for health and usage monitoring, ensuring optimal performance. To bolster survivability, the APC incorporates self-sealing fuel tanks, energy-attenuating seats, add-on armor, and scalable ballistic protection fortifying both crew and vehicle integrity. Weighing in at 21,000 kg, the LAV 700 boasts a payload capacity of up to 11,000 kg. For comprehensive defense, the vehicle offers the option of ceramic add-on armor to counter various threats, with adaptable protection levels capable of resisting 14.5 mm armor piercing rounds and frontal arc protection against 30 mm cannon fire. Additionally, cage armor can be installed to defend against anti-tank rockets. Equipped with an automatic fire suppression system, NBC detection capabilities, and an optional NBC protection system with overpressure, the LAV 700 further enhances its defensive capabilities with a laser warning system, shot detection system, and the potential for integrating an active protection system. Its double V-shaped hull mitigates landmine and improvised explosive device impacts, while adjustable ground clearance ensures adaptability to diverse terrain conditions. Capable of accommodating 6 to 8 infantrymen, the LAV 700 features rear power-operated ramp access and roof hatches. Powered by a new 711 horsepower Caterpillar C13 turbocharged diesel engine, it maintains the driveline and independent hydropneumatic suspension system from the LAV 6.0. This design allows for adjustable ground clearance and includes a central tire inflation system, contributing to speeds exceeding 110 km per hour and a range of over 1,000 km. With the ability to traverse 60% gradients, 30% side slopes, and water fordings of up to 1.2 meters, the vehicle demonstrates exceptional maneuverability. Airliftable by aircraft such as the C-17 Globemaster III or Airbus A400M, the LAV 700 enables swift deployment across varied operational theaters. Designed for versatile mission configurations, exemplified by Saudi Arabia's order of 900 units in several configurations, GDLS markets the LAV 700 as adaptable for personnel transport, command and control, and direct and indirect fire support roles. Armament options include various turrets or remote-controlled weapon stations, RCWS, with standard configuration featuring a 12.7mm machine gun, and the flexibility to equip 30mm or 40mm turrets, classifying the LAV 700 as a wheeled infantry fighting vehicle. That's all for now. See you later.